Thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. Here's the face review. Hey guys, Seiji here. In today's episode, we run so many vaults, I lost count. We get into our first treasure room and it was insane. And we found something super surprising in that treasure room. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Also, thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. It's literally a dream come true. Speaking of a thousand subscribers, as promised, we do a face reveal. So be sure to stay tuned if you guys want to see that. But without further ado, let's hop straight into this episode. Also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not. It's 100% free and you can unsubscribe whenever you'd like. Hey everybody, how's it going? So last episode, y'all know we unlocked the Create Mon. This episode, I want to build a few more farms with it. But first off, I actually want to run a vault. We should have everything we need right there. And we do. So we're going to run this vote while I talk about what the plan is for today's episode. Oh, we got a furious vote. That's going to be kind of a bummer. Oh my gosh, I forgot I have none of my skills. They got reset this update. Let's come back to the portal where it's a little bit safer and actually respect into everything. I don't even remember everything I had, but I know we had a few in the vein miner. I think we went into fortune. We're going to put a couple more into heal. I think we were up to like level six, I want to say. And I know we had one in taunt. Cannot forget about that speed and that haste. And did we have one in strength? I don't remember, but now we do. Oh, and then dash, that was a huge one. And I guess we'll spec the rest into heal, because, you know, you can't ever go wrong with that. Now let's start running this vault. But yeah, in today's episode, I want to build a couple farms with you guys on camera with the create mod. And we also have the face reveal since we hit a thousand subscribers. Yeah, honestly, guys, thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. I literally cannot believe we got it that fast. You guys are honestly amazing, and I really cannot wait to see where 2023 takes us. Oh, this is going to be pretty satisfying. Nice. I have like two main goals for the end of 2023. I think the first goal, I want to be at 2,500 subscribers. I think that's going to be a pretty big thing to accomplish. So hopefully we can get it. If we don't, you know, it's not a big deal. I still appreciate every single one of you guys that are already here. And then my next goal is to get a video that has 15,000 views. I know that's a ton to ask for, but I really do think that with the community that we have behind us, with all the great things y'all have been saying and all the subscribers we've been gaining, I think we could actually do it. And let's get back to the face reveal real quick. I'll be posting the face reveal somewhere in this video. Once you find it, please don't put down in the comments where it's at in the video. Kind of don't want to spoil it for everybody else. Oh, nice. We got some coin piles, so we might actually be able to get those blood vials from here. Ah, we got one. That's not too bad. Look at all these gilded chests. There should be three. We got an Omega, and I think that was a trapped one. That was also a lag spike by the looks of it. Yeah, I'm honestly not sure if we're going to actually complete this scavenger vault. But that reminds me, last episode, we beat a bounty, and I never collected the prize, so we should still have a crate to open. I think we found a dungeon here. If it's not a dungeon, it's a pretty stack. POI though look at all these wooden chests this is gonna be pretty satisfying oh yeah not really having a lot of luck with those living chests and ornate chests plenty of the wooden ones though time's running pretty low anyway so I'm gonna just start heading back to the portal oh what is this a wild west room nice I wonder did anything fun of these this time doesn't really look like it I'm gonna greet a couple of these gilded chests and see if we get anything worth keeping Oh, we got a key piece. That's insane. Main reason is those vault diamonds. We can actually still use a couple of those because I want to unlock a few more mods. Speak of the vault diamond, there's one right there for us. But yeah, time is a lot lower than I wish it would be. So we got to start finding the portal. Oh, another one of these rooms. Don't really need any chromatic iron right now, so that should be okay. If only Valwater was on with me, though. Okay, this should be our first room, so the portal should be one more room that way. To greed or not to greed, I could potentially get one more room. Now, nah, we'll go ahead and cut our losses and just start heading back to the portal. All right, we're back at the portal, so let's head back to the base and see what kind of loot we got. 4,000 XP and 135 looted chests. That is insane. Yeah, I didn't even bother turning any of this stuff in, the stuff that I did have anyways, because I knew we weren't going to complete it, so this is just more soul shards in our pocket. Speaking of soul shards, anything... Oh, three bolt diamonds? That's pretty good. We have 682 left. I would really like to get this trinket scrap. So we'll see how many we get from those guys. All right, here's the moment of truth. Let's see how much loot we actually got. 11 bolt diamonds. That is amazing. And let's check out the other one. 11 mystery boxes and then two key pieces. Oh, cool. We're starting to get cheese again. That's pretty good. Let me clean this inventory out and we'll be back. We have 79 relic booster packs. We need to go ahead and open these bad boys up as well. Now I wonder, can you still dual wield them like this? Okay, nice. You can. All right, let's see what we got. I don't think we have anything enough to make a, uh, no, it doesn't look like it. But let's put our couches away and open up these 11 mystery boxes. Really needing an echo, that'd be like the main thing I'm looking for. And doesn't look like we got it, but we did get some escalium and puffium. Or upaline, rather. <laughs> yeah, we're only one echo away from actually being able to get into a treasure key. So do we run another vault? It's tempting. I really wanted to do a little bit more stuff with create today. Well, what the heck? One more vault's not going to hurt anything. Recipe? Tulips. I don't think I have any of those, so we're going to have to go flower hunting. Oh, we cannot forget about this bounty. Here we go right here. 
Let's open this bad boy up. Even though we know what's in it already. Let's go ahead and roll this thing as well. And it's a common. Not the best stuff though. Oh, now that I think about it, these things have chances to give you echoes. Let's re-roll these a couple times. Gonna just need a bit of bronze. Oh gosh, guys. Find five times red skull in the vault. We get an echo gem. We can craft a key. And then this episode's gonna be insane. So you know we gotta activate this. Now I'm really hoping we get a scavenger wolf because that's the last thing I need. Well, first I need tulips. Are these tulips right here? Oh, they are white tulips. Okay, I think we needed 11. There should be more than enough. Just to be safe, we'll grab these two as well. Oh, I'm so happy I grabbed these two. Nice. I'm tempted on making this actually because then we're guaranteed a scavenger wolf. I have everything but the perfect loot to die. So let's craft that bad boy up and let's craft this guy up. And if I'm not mistaken, it should be the same as 1.16 where you just add it into an anvil. You sure do. This is making out to be a perfect video. We're going to try something a bit different this vault and we're going to start marking with torches because a lot of people say that's a pretty good thing to do. I'm talking to you, Puma. Oh, and it's lucky, so that's even better. So we need five red scrolls and a whole bunch of gilded chests. Yeah, we'll mark this bad boy out like this all around here and then pretty much only go for gilded chests. And look at this, we have two right here. First one, nope. Oh, that one was trapped. That's a bummer. Oh, a couple ornate guys down here. Three saddlebags. I doubt we're going to get this one done. Oh, we did get a couple coin files though, so we have the chance to get those blood files once again. We didn't get a single coin file drop. That's a bummer. Oh, a couple more Yoda boys. Honestly, I'm more excited for the actual bounty than I am for the scavenger crate. Oh, I think I see some Yoda chests. All right, let's hope we get lucky. Nope. So that Gilded POI had nothing, but this one had one and even a key piece? Come on, make up for that last guy it did. We got two from this one POI. Can we go three for three? No. So I only need three more, so I'm liking those odds. Okay, we got a couple ornate boys and we got a helmet. Really hoping we find those saddlebags, but it's not really looking like it. No saddlebag, but we did get a pair of pants. Always be sure to grab these spore blossoms. You never know when you're going to need them. So they're not gilded chests, but there are a couple coin piles over here. Give me better than a zero drop like the last time. Okay, we got one. That's not too bad. Okay, a couple more gilded chests. And they had nothing. All right, a couple more ornate boys. Not seeing the saddlebags anywhere. We got an Omega with an epic sword. Nice. If that was a little loud, I apologize. So what I'm thinking about doing now is just searching for gilded chests. I doubt we're going to complete this bounty. All right, a couple more gilded chests. And we got another one. There are two more and we get that echo. I could really use a Wild West room right about now. No Wild West, but this is going to have to do. So we have two more gilded chests. We got another one. Come on, all my money's on you. Oh, nothing, but we got another key piece. We've gotten a lot of key pieces this round. That's pretty insane. Yeah, I only need one more, so we're super close to it. Okay, a few more. If we end up getting it here, we're going to go straight back to the base. Let's see, let's see. Nope, one more chance. Ah, oh, no. Please give me that last red scroll that I need. Oh, I see some more gilded chests. Just got to get rid of these mobs. And then we get lucky. Nope. Nice, we did it and we completed the bounty. Now to start searching back for that portal. It should be east and that does not look like a normal room. Oh, okay, it's an X marks the spot. Let's go ahead and test our luck real quick. I have a feeling it's gonna be trapped. Okay, my feeling was correct. Perfect thing about this water bucket, they can't get to you. Oh, wow, a puzzle room. Even if I wanted to do this, I wouldn't have enough time to get all those blocks. Okay, here's my torches. So yeah, I should just have to head east. And I think I should have put more into dash because I'm not sure what level I was, but I don't think I'm at the level that I was at. Did that even make any sense? Basically, I'm not at the same level that I was, I don't think. All right, here's our portal. So let's head back to the base and see what kind of loot we got. We 3,600 XP. Oh, the perfect amount of chest. 39 coin piles isn't bad, and I haven't been getting very many ores these past few runs. But the moment we've been waiting for, let's claim up this bounty, get that last echo we need, and then we can craft up a key. Oh, let's throw all these guys in here, actually. Oh, this one's worth 128. That's pretty cool. All right, now let's open this up, get that echo, and then roll up these pieces of gear that we got, that epic plus sword I'm super excited for. Imagine we get an Omega from it. And, okay, it's just a normal epic but 16 attack damage plus two chaining. That is insane. It's a little bit less damage than this one, but we get a lot more prefixes. The rest of this gear is pretty mad. I'll keep these boots though, because oh, we got a faceted focus and that's for thorns damage. Awesome. We got to move these boots over to the backup gear. Gonna really miss the loot boots, but they got to go in here. Let's roll the sword up a bit. Gonna really miss that plus two chaining, but that's a lot better. Plus three attack and 64% chance for sweeping edge. Nice. So we go from 40 DPS up to oh not much of a difference we actually do less now okay i messed with that a bit more and we got that plus two chaining back some holy damage and also some poison cloud do less dps but it shouldn't be too bad so we could make either a gorgonite an upaline sparkle scene pretty much most of the ones that we currently have i think i'm gonna go with gorgonite though because we'll be able to spot that one a lot better than the rest so first we gotta make this gorgeous gemstone 
Oh wait, don't pull a Seiji. Make sure you know what you're crafting. We need a Gorgonite cluster actually, so that's my bad guys. Sorry about that. This is gonna eat through my black opal. We need two of these, a perfect echo gem, and then we need two of these black chromatic steel ingots. After that, we should be able to make this key mold. Oh, this takes eight key pieces now? Okay, at least we can make it still. Okay, so after you have the cluster, you used to need a key anvil, but I think now you can just go to the normal anvil. You sure can. And now we have a Gorgonite key. Thumb no time. Recipe. Kind of worried about that prismarine. Yeah, because we don't have any. You know what we forgot to do? I forgot to open up the loot bags. Oh, okay, we got four volt diamonds. That's not too bad. And nine mystery boxes. Okay. Let's go ahead and open these things up real quick. Oh, a lot of some, a lot of pog gems, actually. Upaline, sparkle tea, and even some pizza night. Oh, and some black opal, too. That's going to come in clutch. Okay, you can make prismarine with create. So before we run this vault, let me show you how to do that. You're going to want a propeller, an andesite casing, and a shaft. That'll get you an encased fan. You're also going to want some soul sand. And can't forget about the lapis. Then you got to fly over to your create base. Everybody has one of these. Oh yeah, check out these vector plates I got from a traveling merchant. They make you go super quick. And yeah, I've never gotten rid of this thing. Which is kind of a good thing, because for now, we can actually set this right here. That's the wrong way. Uh, it looks like we could set it right here, and that one will actually blow us. Then you put your soul sand down, light that bad boy up, and be super careful here, because if you walk in front of it... Oh, never mind. I thought it was going to burn me. Let's put a border around here, just in case. And you throw some lapis in. Oh, make sure you take your magnet off. Now we can throw some lapis in. And in time, that should start turning into some prismarine shards for us. Quick note, the more you throw down, the longer it takes. Yeah, so I just threw a single one down, and it turned a lot quicker than that whole stack did. I was wondering where it went, and it went into our pouch. We're going to make a bit more just for safe measures. We can now turn that into some prismarine and actually complete that volt altar. Yeah, I had to come harvest some sugar cane too. Not just for the altar, but we're going to need some paper so we can do that face reveal pretty soon. All right, so I think we have everything. Let's hop straight into this vault. And we got a living vault, which isn't too bad. But the main thing we're after is that treasure room. Oh, uh, so we found a bomb ignite one. Not quite what we're looking for. Are you kidding me? Another bomb ignite door? Oh, uh, we can't pass up these ornate chests. Yeah, I'm really hoping we find this Gorgonite key because I don't want to have to run another vault. Oh, okay. This one's upling. We're getting closer to the color that we need, but it's not quite there yet. Okay, now we have an Ashium door. We're getting a little bit colder than what we need. Imagine we find every door except the one that we need. That would be my luck. Once again, not the one that we're needing. So it's not a treasure room, but we did find a monolith. Uh, and we did find an upland door pretty much right next to the monolith. This is going to be a huge bummer if we don't find it. Whoa, check it out, guys. One of these living chests actually spawned in these corridors. We're getting super lucky with the bobbing night doors, but not quite with the Gorgonite ones. Oh, uh, we're not going to be touching this room. Yeah, let's actually go ahead and block this one off because uh, that could be bad. Okay, I'm not even kidding, guys. Another bobbing night door. Yeah, I really wish I would have made a bobbing night key now. Oh my gosh, we found the Gorgia Night Door. Yeah, let's open up our inventory and open this bad boy up. And I've actually never been in one of these before, so now let's make sure we put on this chest plate. Oh my gosh, a Knowledge Star, a Rare Shield, a Pickering. Those are pretty useless, actually. And we got a Mega Torch. Oh, we actually got an Extraordinary Banyatite and also a Trader. That's going to come in super handy. Let's actually go need this Knowledge Star up now. Oh, did it give it to us? I don't think it gave it to us. What a bummer. Okay, never mind. It gave us it back. Yeah, let me throw a couple of these things over here inside of this. And another cool thing is you can actually mine up this treasure sand just like this. It gives you a couple... Wait, what? Um, Do not open in the vault. You found him. I've never been in a treasure room, but... On the videos I've seen, I've never actually seen that part. Maybe we found an Easter egg, honestly. But why does it say not to open it in the vault? That kind of scares me. Well, we're going to mine up the rest of this treasure sand. And let's hope that, you know, we don't get too unlucky with whatever that is that we just found. Okay, I got rid of all the concrete. Let's start mining up all the treasure sand. You can see we're finding some diamonds and a lot of pogwarts. Yeah, so these things are actually pretty good. Make sure you mine up all of this stuff over here because you have a chance to even get pogs, I believe. Oh, we actually got an echo. Nice. Oh, and a pog. Well, with that treasure room done, let's start trying to make our way back to the portal. Because I really want to see what this is all about. Alright, so we found our original marker, so we should just have to head north. Oh boy, we ran into another elite over here. We need to try to get rid of this, actually. Alright, and now for the explosion. Yeah, there's all the baby ones. Well, that'd be a good bit of XP. Yeah, I tried looking for that last monolith and we just weren't able to find it. But now that we're back at the portal, let's head back to the base and see what kind of loot we got. We opened a total of 10 chests. Treasure chest actually gave us 800 XP. That's not too bad. And then I believe that elite sp itsy bitsy spider. Oh, the elite gave us 1800. Nice, it was enough for a level up. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Before we check this out though, let's check out our treasure room loot. So we got a good bit of pog wars and we even actually got a pog from that. We even got a shield and an idol. So let's roll those up. We got the coconut and we have a normal idol. That's not too bad. Uh, never mind. The 6% block chance is pretty low. And then over here, we got a mega torch, which is going to come in super handy. A trader, a knowledge star, 
and even a skill orb. Yum and yum. That diamond furnace is going to be pretty nice. And then we have two normal relic batch. Nothing that we can use to complete a set. A couple compressed blocks. And then we did get that pickering and a couple extraordinary pieces. And I think for now we'll just put the mega torch right there. I went ahead and put a stack of bolt scrap in here because I really want to buy this trinket scrap. Don't really need it right now, but later on down the line, once we actually unlock our first trinket, it'll come in super handy. This should be all we need to actually go ahead and buy that. Yeah, we're up to 1148 shards. Right there is all we needed. Okay, nice. And then for 46, we can buy a trident. That'll come in super handy down the line. And I actually want to craft up a couple of swords because even though the one that we have is pretty good, there's always a chance we get something just a little bit better. Now let's roll all these bad boys up. All right, we got a common, so that's not too awful bad. Yeah, sadly, the one I have is currently a lot better. Not too bad, though. We could always recycle all of these and hopefully get a faceted focus. Didn't get one. So I know you guys are probably yelling at me. Y'all all, all want to see what's in the box. So let's actually go a little bit away from the base because I'm worried it's going to explode. Yeah, down here in the industrial district seems like the best place to open this box. Yeah, let's go ahead and put on our chest plate just so we can have all the protection we need. And what's in the box? Oh, a bundle and an item frame. And I wonder what's in the bundle. It's called You Found Him. Okay, that's pretty different. Oh, it seems like... Oh, it seems like a picture? Yeah, can y'all can y'all see that? Yeah, that's right. We're ready for the face reveal. Before we do that, I just want to thank you guys so, so much for a thousand subscribers. You guys are literally the best community in the world. When I first fart... When I first started this channel, it was literally to make videos for my little brother, and you guys have honestly just been the best support ever. Never thought I'd make it this far ever. For those of you who don't know, I have about 12 or 13, maybe even 14 siblings I honestly lost count. And I have a few younger brothers that really miss playing with me, so I told them I would make content, you know, just for them to watch. And it turns out a couple other people liked watching it as well. I'm dragging this out, aren't I? Anyways, thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. Let's get into this face reveal. We're gonna put the item frame down. Should I add some suspenseful music? We're gonna open the item frame up just a bit so just it's a little bit bigger. And now, the moment you've been waiting for. Or not waiting for, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. All right, let's get into it. That's me, right there. That is the face of Seiji. Bask in the ambience, cause I'm not gonna be showing it very much more after this. We'll probably leave it up here, you know, just it'll be in the videos in the background. But yeah, that's my face. Does the face match the voice? Y'all tell me down in the comments below. Once again, do not put the time marker down below. I want everybody to have this as a surprise, and I don't want them to just, just go ahead and skip to the face reveal. But who knows, maybe at 2,500 subscribers, we can do a family reveal? That'd be me, my wife, and also my son. So my son looks pretty much exactly like me when I was a baby. Kind of weird, actually. It's like I have a little clone. But now that we've ripped that band-aid off, and y'all know what Seiji looks like, go ahead and drop a subscribe if you haven't. You know, like the video, comment down below. It helps out a ton. And you know what? It kind of worked out because we did do a bit with Create today. We set up that encased fan, which is what I wanted to do. I wanted to set up a couple more Create machines. And this isn't really a couple more. It's pretty much one more. But, you know, we still did what I wanted to. I'm going to have to move that. It's like the eyes are following me. <laughs> Yeah, let me know down in the comments below. Should we just go ahead and take this down? Oh, that reminds me. I need this green screen real quick. Y'all know how I always do those little silly intros to begin with. Well, this is going to be in the intro, so don't be alarmed when you see this. Thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. Here's the face review. I plan on it being a Rickroll. Don't know if I ended up doing it. Let's hope I did. But I think that'd be a pretty fun intro. I hope when y'all saw that, y'all didn't judge too quick and just click off the video. But it's that time of the episode. It's comment time. First up, we have Reba. They said, just discovered this channel the last episode. Super well done. Keep up the great work, man. Thank you so, so much. And next up, we have Shadow. And next up, we have Shadow. I just watched your entire Volt Hunter series and subscribed. You're an amazing content creator. Can't believe you only have 1,070 subscribers. You deserve way more. Well, thank you so much for that. I'm super happy with how many we have currently. If you're not, though, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps out a ton. But that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. I hope you guys have a great one. God bless you guys. Bye-bye. Once again, thank y'all so much for all the likes and comments. It means a ton.